A low energy light bulb. I have a lot of these around my house. Just see if this one works though. Oh yes, it does. Well, it's a lighter, of course, which is the theme of this collection. These are all the lighters I've come across over the years. About uh, a third of them belong to a friend of mine, but he's given me lots and I, and I return them as well. So I'm showing you lighters and lighters like you've never seen before. This one here, for instance. This is interesting because it's a transition between these two technologies. This is actually showing uh, the old type of ignition, which was a, a, a knurled wheel and flint, and then it's got butane gas in it. So that's a kind of transition between the two technologies. But the extra bit of fun is the space noise it makes as well. Fun as a lighter. Fun. A lot of them aren't what they look like. This looks like a dice or die. But actually, when you press the six, which is here, it lights up. Jolly good idea. You could actually roll it around as a die too, I guess. And then there's ones which are just quirky because they aren't what they seem to be. It looks like a tube of toothpaste. It's always the sign is always two little holes at the bottom. One is uh, for, for uh, f refilling with the, with the gas and one is for adjusting the flame and each of them then flicks it open. And some of them look completely unlike anything you'd ever had light for a lighter. How could that screw be a lighter? Well, it is, it's all hidden in the top. Wow. And one this friend of mine has just given me, she's very, very generous with this stuff, is a, a battery and it's a lighter, wonderful. What I like about this one is it's a windproof one, and if you look inside where that green flame is, it's actually lighting up a little tiny ball of glass or ceramic. And when you put your cigarette on it, it'll then ignite it. So this is one of the windproof lighters, the very latest versions. But that's a nice little variation on it. And so it goes on. How can a packet of gum be a lighter? Well, it is. When you pull this out, it lights. Strange. And a couple of them work by pushing this to one side. There's an ace there, and that's one I think he must have given me because he loves cards, LG, ace of spades. And another one he's just lent me, which again, you can't think how on earth it works, but the answer is you bend that to one side. It's a kind of swivel, and it lights up. I found a wonderful flying saucer many years ago, and when that's pressed, it should light up, and there's a lot of flashing going on due to LEDs in the surrounding ring. One of the earliest lighters I ever got was this one here, which works on the principle of it's got lighter fuel rather than gas, which is a sort of perpetual, and it's got the old flint mechanism as well. Extraordinary. Little flame. This one there is magic because you can take the flame out. <laughs> and you can put the flame back again. And then blow it out. Very interesting. A magic one. Then a fairly high-tech one here, which is attached to a penknife. It's got okay, two jets coming out. Those would be, again, a windproof lighter. It's almost like a, jet, almost like a blow lamp, but they'd light a, a cigarette in very strong wind. Then in the back here, I've got some extraordinary things here. A couple of match boxes with big matches. If I go lighting it like that, nothing will happen there, of course, because it's a lighter. Oh, well, there we are. And an even bigger one, that's Long Crane and Broxton, who have now passed on and been taken over by Lagoon. This was an most enormous matchbox, and you took it off and there was a lighter inside. That worked beautifully. Lovely idea, that. And the quirkiest ones for, to try to discover what they are, I suppose, are these two here. There's a large and a small version of it. They look for all the world like a little tricycle or a little, little, little scooter which you can play with and you can put little figures on it. But how can that be a lighter? You can spend some time looking at it before you discover that the back wheel flicks back and lights up. And this one is on a larger scale. Extraordinary idea, isn't it? Very well hidden, so that's hard to find. There's also another completely different uh, system for lighting a cigarette, which is frankly very jokey or very weird. This one here, this isn't a real cigarette, it's just a little barrow, but I'm putting it there. The idea is you put that in there and you point this towards the sun when it's a hot day and this when it's being cleaned up is a reflective parabolic mirror and it'll focus just at that point there and with about a minute or so that'll ignite the cigarette. 
So that's by reflection. And then this more recent version is by transmission because there's a little magnifying lens just here. When you put the cigarette in at just the right angle like that and adjust it slightly so you can see where the sun's rays are focused to a point, it'll ignite the tobacco and give you some useful smoke. There's a couple of quirky ones here which they are such fun which I enjoy playing with them but they have to say that the ignition system is breaking down on them and they don't seem to light. So I'm feeling that I need to light them with a lighter as it were. Let's try this one here. Have we go light it up. Oops. There we are, that's lit. So I use a lighter to light the lighter. Well, could be worse. But this one's a charming one, it's a pipe. And again, this has lost the ignition switch, but it's, it's working by lighting it with another lighter. So have, this one, again, is, is a, one of these rather high-tech ones in which the blue flame will gradually warm up and then you'll get some heat on the wires there. And it's the red wires, when they start glowing, will give you a chance to light your cigarette. It's a bit of time to warm up the wires. Oh, there we are. Oh, no, not quite. Glow away. Oh, don't think it's going to glow today. Perhaps I need some more fuel with it. There's some little cross wires underneath which will heat up to a bright red colour. And when that happens, you then you can use that to, to light your cigarette. So there we are, a whole collection of strange lighters. But I have to say for myself, I don't use them as lighters. It's not for cigarettes because I don't smoke.